公海鬼心事吗？不是吗？来好吗？共喝狗，一起有没人？一起一起 ，Live in the Lego Room。Tonight we have Arabi James, aka Beaker. Get off the great and wonderful, my good man, Aaron from Victoria. Evening, folks. Evening, folks. ABC. ABC. And some whooshing sound in the background. <laughs> That's a wind comes up from the south. I didn't do it. <laughs> How are you doing, RRB? Yeah, pretty good. I enjoyed your little intro right there that you do weekly. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, this is our new little uh, tag. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You're good. You? I saw you put some things up on the uh, this week. Lovely to see. Yes, about time. Yes. About time. I have. Yeah. Indeed. So that's good. Yes. That yes, I, I, enjoy, I enjoyed your 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 uh, little uh, predictions for the new episodes and um, where things will fit in for Sons of Gamadon and uh, good stuff. Yes, yes, it's been fun making videos again, so I'm enjoying it. Hurrah! And yep. we'll kick the. Food. Sorry, was that man? I said, "Yep, it's been fun." So that's it. <laughs> good, good, good. We'll kick the footy cross to the other Victorian, James. Hello, hello, hello. How are you all today? Don't all reply all at once. That might be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Good to hear you. Good to see you. Yes. Um, What's happening? What are you building? What are you doing? Well, um, I am fresh from my triumph. Um, although, unfortunately, um, the co-Victorian uh, Darren doesn't see it this way, but I, I consider that my build that I had at my local lug was a triumph. Um, <laughs> the triumph in question was probably that it stayed intact during transit um, and that I didn't spend most of the time going through the back of my corolla looking for chickens. But that being said, and that didn't happen, it was all good, it's all a triumph. I'm bronze boy, apparently, because I didn't win. But there's better things than winning. There's winning next time. Uh, is so, it? Yes. <laughs> winning next time. Yes. Um, and, and the great thing about next time, much like later, is that it could be at any time in the future. Yes. Oh, dear. That's, that's how I get to sleep at night. I see. No, oh, nice to hear. Nice to hear. Footy across to Darren, aka Gandalf, aka Trainer, and good Victorian, another Victorian friend. What's happening, mate? What's going on? So down here in Mexico, it's all happening. We're um, gearing up for a Bendigo bricks at the moment, building stuff. Oh, good. So yeah, it's um, still sorting at the moment. It's that in that long task and. Uh, I have to thank my partner, Elizabeth, for all the sorting she does because it does make building stuff a lot easier. Oh, indeed. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, no, it's been pretty good. Can't complain. Weather's been a bit crappy, though, but, hey, that's, you know, can't, can't help that. So, yeah. Um, yeah. But, um, no, busy building for mock comps as well. We've got two this month to knock off, so, um, yeah. So I've got one for... Uh, Mugs, oh, that's actually next month, and I've got one for Bold, which has been the area Lego designers coming up at the end of the month. And that's the theme for that one is cold, mm. and it's actually quite warm here in Australia at the moment. So, yeah, I wonder who picked that type that topic. <laughs> I, I, I was playing with the reverse psychology, so. oh, right? It's sort of, it's sort of yeah. like Christmas in July. No, 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 I did that as well. No, Christmas in July is a real thing. But I figured if everyone's like, it's probably a little bit of a on cold. I was thinking, 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 I was thinking,
when hell freezes over. <laughs> but it's very hard to depict the mother-in-law in Lego. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a minifig like here somewhere. Yes. Yes. Sorry to all the mother. Not all years are bad. That's all right. That's good to hear. So you're busy doing those um, preps for those mocks. That's nice to see. And we'll kick across to ABC. What's happening in the world of Lego in lovely Queensland, Australia? Queensland, Australia? Not a lot, just been shopping for Lego. Oh, lovely, <laughs> lovely. What did you get what your hands on? Hand? Oh, well, for anyone that didn't watch my stream last night, please subscribe. Um, been uh, playing the Gotta Catch the All game with the, the Brickheads. Ooh. So got uh, the seasonal ones from the Dreamworld store and stupidly got them posted for a ridiculous sum of money. Oh, Might dear. have been cheaper to have gotten them from you, Tim. Yeah, I could have sent them uh, quite easily and you would, have, you, would, you would have got them at a better price. <laughs> Actually, I might, might look you up for the ones we're still missing. So we've got all the newer ones. Yep. And um, we're still missing Captain Phasma and Finn. Oh, I saw about five Phasmas the other day walking past the store at uh, Chongqing. Uh, Sorry to rub that in. Anyway, they're out of stock on Lego Shop at home at the moment, so I'm hoping that's a temporary situation and not permanent one. Otherwise, yes. I'll be very unimpressed. Well, indeed, and I would, I would, I would conclude that one would be most unhappy that it would go that quickly. <clears throat> Yeah, well, considering we were the we went to Toys R Us earlier this week, and they were in the store, and then a couple of days later we went back and they're gone, all of them. Gone, like last week's pay. So yeah, that quick. Mind you, they probably only had like six of each one at most, but still, you wouldn't think they were that popular. No, what one would it be? You think they're, they're, that, they're that popular? Yeah, I was surprised. Yeah, we, yeah, one of our local retailers can't keep them on the shelves. Wow. Seriously, he's going through boxes full per week. Goodness me. What a seller. Are they are they getting them for collectability or for parts? Bit of both. Little column A, little column B. Oh, and that bargain one that I got that was damaged box was all there on the inside. Yeah. Mhm. Mm really? Yeah, I built it yesterday. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. So that was good. Well, that's about it. That's about it's it. been too bloody hot in Queensland to really work on anything or do anything. Yeah. So once the weather starts climbing down, we'll probably start pulling, pulling the dinosaur stuff apart and rearranging things. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Getting ready for... Uh... Thunderbird the in July. So it's probably the longest oh, show that cool. we've not had a local show in, like, forever. Yeah. Yeah. So it's nice to actually have some time to do something substantial. Uh, yeah. It, it's sad yeah, because Facebook keeps reminding me of old shows and work that I did leading up to work, old, older shows and... Um, seeing how, how little I've been able to work on things since we put the mm. displays into the um, the crates because of space. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we stupidly didn't realise that doors don't go through door frames. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Doors do not go through door frames, so... Yeah, not without tipping them, and if you tip them, everything goes. Uh, 
<laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so it's it's really hard to move it into the space where we have space to put up a couple of tables and work on things. So mm. it's full of storage. Yes, pro, pro tip, whenever you're planning a mock, make sure it'll fit out the door first. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> it, I think that's why I built outside. outside. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wish I had that option, but, yeah, you... Um, yeah, so I'm sort of in the process of lining my shed out. I've sort of got to make the decision, do I move all my woodworking tools outside and make a lean-to, like an enclosed lean-to, and then fully insulate the shed and turn it into a Lego building space? Yeah. That, which means then I have to remove the, the tilting slide door so it's no longer a place where dust can get in. Mate, we both know the answer to that. What? Yeah. Yeah, it'll have, it'll have to happen. It'll have to happen eventually. It'll have to happen eventually, but it means I've got to get rid of so much stuff. Well, on your bike. <laughs> oh, Dave. No, well, everyone likes the goal. Oh, uh, actually, I'm, I'm thinking still on present. Uh, you might want to click click on my face. Yep. Sorry about that. Just turn to check some bits and pieces in the other realm of the net and questions coming through. And what am I up to? Well, I am on the home straight of this mega build. This is the last final interior that has to be done before the rooftop space. And then she'll be all packed up and taken to be judged. This big beast behind me has had a lot of pain, blood, sweat and tears put into it. And if I don't bloody get to Bill, there's something bloody well wrong. <laughs> so um, we're, we're, we're putting the last touches to... This last interior, we're doing the top helipad and um, roof space separate um, on a different table on the other side of this partition. And um, <clears throat> once we have that all done, put all together, we then have to put it into a padded bloody box. Helicopters, helicopters, helicopters. Yes. <laughs> Hey, Tim, Tim yeah, you, only, you only said one helipad. It's in Lego City, mate. It needs at least two, possibly three helipads on the roof. Five. Oh, five. 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 Yeah, five. Five. Do you want all my 20 helicopters to land on the bloody thing, do you? Yes. yes. That's right. That's what yes, we're getting that's at. That's the way to do it. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I play SimCity. Oh I, I play I play yeah. Sim City a bit, and one of my fire stations in one version I was going it actually had five helipads on it. Oh man! On one fire station because it was the only way to keep fires, chemical fires, from spreading. Oh really? <laughs> oh, Darren! <laughs> Aerial invasion. Me. Goodness me! Uh, dear. Anyway, so um, oh, wow. we, we are feverishly building, and for all those who are watching who do not know, we have one of the most insane competitions ever in the history of LEGO competitions, which includes a trip to Billen, a 60-second dash for LEGO, plus... You get a tour of the Lego house and mm -hmm. and accommodation. Flights for two. And what more would you want? Money. You're sharing that with me. Shut up. I need money. You need money. You need money. You're sharing that with me, aren't you, Timmy? Um, yeah, we, we will fly together, mate. 
I think the mission. You heard your first folks being tipped down for a 60 second shot grab. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, mate. 60 second shotgun, more like it. <laughs> I've shotgunned that already, oh, thanks, man. mate. You're just telling everybody it's a courtesy. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I've broken him. I'm sorry. Oh, dear. <laughs> what are you doing, Jane? Trying to kill me, son. Sorry, mate. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Try not to break Timmy when he's the host. Please don't, Remember yeah. Remember last week what happened when, when he dropped out? Yes. Oh, hello? This is the CPCP. We want to know what you're doing on the internet. Why are you doing stuff for Lego? It's only for children. Why are you not children? <laughs> Who said I was a damn adult? I said, um, it, there's a thing called AFLs there, commie bastard, piss off an Australian before I get the bloody embassy on to you. <laughs> I have immunity. <laughs> Diplomatic immunity. Sorry. And then, and then the little Red Army men went away. Anyone. Timmy. Do we yes. have a, do we have a topic of discussion tonight? Before we go completely off the rails? We do, we do, we do. Our topic tonight is: Should a defector from those horrible <coughs> L brand, <coughs> X brand Chinese knockoffs, who believes they would like to redeem themselves and go over to the right side of the building block? Are they allowed to legally? Should they be allowed? What's people's thoughts? ABC? Don't always talk at once. Uh, I would question their motives and why they left the other companies. Were they fired or were they leaving of their own accord because they don't like what's happening there? Or like, I would question their motives. Yes, it's the same. What's your thoughts, Darren? Uh, if they're defecting, they're probably defecting so they can steal secrets. I'll just come out and say it more openly. If we, and if we go into a big red flag very shortly, we understand why. Yes. <laughs> I was like, if, 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 if Timmy suddenly disappears, we know what's happened. I'm taking him out. <laughs> You know that the CCCP uh, have uh, taken me. <laughs> I've been walked away and gone to re-education camp. Oh, the re -education. oh they'll just take your oxygen away from you, Tim. Dare not uh, criticise glorious Chinese manufacturing. <laughs> yes. Oh, dear. <laughs> anyway. oh, so, uh, well, uh, uh, you know, you know so. not, not being mean, mate, but it'd be funny actually one night if we gave you nitrous oxide instead of, instead of oxygen. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. my God. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Would you need to? <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would, would, you, would you like to have a stream like that, would you? <laughs> Darren, you first. <laughs> What's that? You first. Hear him. <laughs> See, oh, nitrous no. oxide, that would be difficult because what if you had like curry or something before? And Oh, oh no. Hi. Curry. Curry pulse. Moving on. We could, we could do helium as well. Nitrous oxide and helium, now, there'd be a buzz. <laughs> there would be a buzz. Probably, probably kill my cat in the process. It wouldn't be a good idea. <laughs> Oh, dearie, dearie me. Oh, dear. Oh, man. Hilarious. Anyway. Yeah, so if their motives were pure and I didn't like what was going on, that they were someone that actually wasn't, let's say, oh. was stealing the things, particularly uh, other people's uh, mops or uh, our favourite brand's regular items, 
What is the feeling then? Well, didn't uh, Lippin lose uh, a couple uh, of cases? And isn't it is it usual for companies who lose a court case for you know IP manipulation, you know theft, to actually be employed in the main competitor's company? Like that's kind of a strange move, isn't it? Well, I'll, 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 exp I'll explain a little bit more. I I have got a contact who is from here in HK, who was okay originally employed by Zambao, and then also then left that company and went and worked for Lepen or Lepen, and he. Gotten, he his main thing was not to do with design or those type of things, but he was more, I guess, um, a, a marketing, I, I would say, was more his uh, forte. So a little bit hands off, and not, not not so much, not so much to do with direct ripping things off or um, you know those type of things. So in that regard, this contact of mine has now try to shed a light on things to let's say our lovely brand legio <clears throat> and they have offered him a position so that he can run quality assurance and also keep the marketing side so that it becomes a better brand and therefore making those other knockoffs inferior and non-existent what oh. is uh, your thoughts in that regard? <laughs> well, hey, they can do that themselves, can't they? By making them inferior and, you know, not fit for sale. Um, yeah. Um, I, I, I just think if his motives are pure and he doesn't like what the company has been previously involved in, I think it's fair that he has a chance to actually redeem himself and do those do those other two out of business. Yeah, there's also a phrase called industrial sabotage, which isn't really a stranger um, in True. certain countries of the world. And um, uh, transmission is finalised. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's a very very strange situation. Um, yeah. Yeah, <coughs> sure, actually. Anybody else? Yes. Uh, look, we could probably say that those other L brand serious trolls when it comes to um, dealing other people's IP. It's very sad. There's been so much stolen from the Lego Ideas pages. It's um, incredible. Yeah. And that's sad because that's the AFLs, the serious builders that have been done over. And that's not right. Um, considering China has been very hard, trying very hard to encourage manufacturing in their country, it's very hard to do so when you keep stealing people's IP because I know in my own case, I have tried to get product manufactured in China trying to do the right thing. Um, and I've submitted ideas and I've had my products turn up on AliExpress six weeks later. My designs turn yeah. up six weeks later. So... Yeah, just I'm just warning anyone out there who is actually submitting stuff to be manufactured. Um, you have to actually not never tell them what it actually is until it's been manufactured under your your names, your patents. You have to just give it a, a generic part number, and basically yep. do not actually get them to manufacture a component. Get twenty manufacturers to do it, then import it all yourself, then put it together, and then you market it. You never let them know what it is because. I had a couple of things that I sent off, and uh, just, they were basic items like camera camera accessories, yeah. and you know my my stuff's being sold on AliExpress, identical, one hundred percent to the CAD drawings. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Yep. Didn't even bother changing any minor details. All I did was delete my name off of them. Wow. Yep. That's all I did. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, that does happen it does happen 
Um, I was going to get stuff manufactured in carbon fiber because at that stage, there wasn't really anyone in Australia doing it at, um, at realistic prices. There really still isn't. And they were doing it dirt cheap in China. And it wasn't a matter of doing the cost. It's just the guy, when I approach the guys here in Australia, they've gone, we really don't like playing with small components like that. Mm. They didn't want to deal with small items. They, they were really only doing sort of, you know, items that were sort of fairly large. So, yeah, anyway. So just, yeah, it's it's really sad. With, the, with them pushing as hard as they are, get manufacturing in because they have sunk a lot of in money in infrastructure now and they're not getting the sales anymore. Yeah. I think you've got to start looking after the people's intellectual property more and then they'll respect you more as a trading partner. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's serious stuff. I mean, this is, and this is also even more serious now that you've, you've attracted a major international brand like Lego. I mean, it is the world's most recognized brand now and you have to respect it. So, this is why they've jumped on the other old brands, I think, in a big way and and given them time to withdraw their product. Yeah. Actually, actually it's kind of strange that this is still an issue because, you know, they want to be part of the world market and all that. Oh, Obviously, right. they are the world market. But, um, yeah, the, the whole having no IP is kind of a leftover from communism, isn't it? It's, you know, the whole group share. Yep. How, how does that work? Well, that, that that whole dynamic is something that you are you are right looking to. It, it has le it's leftovers from um, the um, Mao Zedong days, which now uh, President Xi is trying to very very simply distance himself from. And the whole thing of him doing this Belt and Road Initiative is that he can actually show the West that, oh, no, we are, we are not the same red commies that we used to be. We are not the same sort of idea that we, that we had once upon a time. We want to join the West. We want them to come and manufacture in China, but at the same time, we will also rein in our own brands who have copied, pillaged, funded, and taken intellectual property and he, that is why he was the one who actually made the, the decision to end and give amnesty to L Brand and Zambo and also um, Kwai Wang Bricks to actually tell them, you must slow down your operations. You must also close down any um, infringements on Lego brand products uh, completely. And if you don't, um, we'll come in there with our little uh, our, our jack boots and our army, and we'll just go and smash things from one end of your factory to the other. Wow! That, that basically sends a big message to them. And um, the the uh, when it comes to um, uh, Kwai Jang Bricks, they have closed fourteen factories now. There's only two left. Wow! Um, uh, uh, Leopard's closed down. Um, four factories. Their four big factories are closed down. They're down to, I think, only um, uh, eight. So um, they're, 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 they're being told to cease and assist. Uh, and Zhang Bo are also told to pull their heads in as well. So it is it is not just something that's a bit piecemeal and sort of, um, oh, they're there. We'll, we'll, we'll pretend that we, we, we've told you to do something and really you, you um, just go somewhere else. No, they actually are very serious because they want the West to invest and they want the West to actually see them do um, physical action against um, these brands. <clears throat> Which is quite good. It's quite good that they actually have have pulled their finger around in, in that regard to actually yeah, to do this. Very good. It's <clears throat> interesting though when you're talking about the number of factories there, Tim. Obviously, yep. they must have a, a a much bigger market than I was aware of. I don't, honestly didn't think that they'd have that much call for manufacturing, but obviously, well, in, in other countries where the money is obviously not there, Lego isn't selling, so and um, off brands are obviously. And that's correct. And and there were a lot of a lot of Zambao stuff was being sold in Africa. A lot of Zambao right, stuff yeah. was sold in some parts of Europe. And uh, same with Lepin and uh, Kwai Jang Pricks. It, it, similarly, similarly, so they um, where China had foothold, they would try to um, pass those um, 
uh, lesser quality uh, products to those markets, and they snapped them up. I mean, that that's what that's what they could get their hands on quite readily, and those people, um, uh, you know, that they they thought they thought you no, know, Lego was out of their reach. Yes, so oh, these are a um a, a, a different option. So people took them. Yeah, <clears throat> but it's it is. Just, uh... It is good that they actually are pulling their finger out and they're actually going to do something um, quite uh, forthrightly. And um, <clears throat> I, I, I was just prompting the question because I, I have an insider who, um, as I say, more so on the marketing side of things, um, and he may join us in a few weeks. And um, he has started his own channel. And um, surprisingly, he's into all bricks. I mean, he, he, he makes no bones about it. He's very controversial controversial figure over here in hk and but he he's coming at it at a different angle and he's also coming at it in such a way that is he he basically is basically shining light to what the operation what those those other inferior brands uh did um and previously and may try to do in the future and his aim is to um basically tell them to cease and assist and if he can help in in that regard so be it that's good. That's good. I can understand in certain markets where 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 money is a real issue, where these brands have got a foothold. It would also be a case too, I think, where they would have been lost leaders too to get shipping containers into the country. Mm -hmm. um, people don't understand quite often that with um, <clears throat> things like steel, especially, um, a container can have less than six inches in the floor of it in steel, and the rest of the container will go empty unless they stick something in there that's light. So quite often you'll get six inches of sheet steel in the bottom of a container or 15 centimetres for those in metric. And then yep. the rest of the container volume is um, is empty. Now, sometimes they do put the steel on flats, on container flats, but they don't like doing that because it goes rusty. So what happens is you've got this container and they say, well, what, what will often happen to fill the space is I'll put stuffed toys in as an example because they're very light. So that's how the show the show people get their their stuffed toys into the country very cheap. They basically pay very little freight to get it in. So yes. because something like these off brands would be fairly light, they would be filling the volume up in containers with them. And pretty much, I would say the Chinese government has been subsidising the shipping to a point where these companies, so these companies can get a foothold in these uh, markets where Lego it had, doesn't have a foothold. And so to understand the whole shipping dynamic here has a big impact on where stuff goes and when you consider a shipping container to go pretty much anywhere in the world for 20 footers about three and a half thousand dollars um if you can save even a thousand on that on um shipping a load of steel by selling the rest of the space to somebody else for a percentage of the thing you, you're still winning aren't you so yeah they'd, they'd be sort of flogging off the steel at a good price um which would and then the subsidy would be coming in to fill the rest of the container and that's how they get a foothold in some of these really backwater markets. And that's indeed what what my uh, contact has said that um, he yeah. he in marketing were trying to actually do those type of things to uh, get get in and um, go into uh, you know the western stream in that way to get keep costs down. So you've hit on yeah. uh, something quite quite right on on uh, on the uh, money there, uh, Darren. Yeah. No, it's um. I mean, I've had to inquire about a lot of shipping because I've looked to look to import stuff myself, and it's amazing when you you contract um, some company, some shipping companies, the rates you can get if you're prepared to ship light stuff compared to heavy stuff. You can get very good rates on light stuff, um, provided yeah. you get to the docks and unload it straight away, sort of thing. You've got to be in there as the minute it hits the deck and and get it out. But um, yeah, yeah you, can get, you can get incredibly good rates. So, so yeah, it's just one of those things. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. So Indeed. we've had a request from the chat to talk about the Harry Potter stuff. Um, oh, okay. So yeah. there has been some new stuff released or um, not I released. I've so some of that dropping. Really to be released. Uh, Johnny G brought it up. Oh, good. So, um, anyone want to weigh in on what they think of the new Harry Potter stuff? Hell yeah. No sand green. No sand green, yes. It's, it's more realistic and grey. That's more realistic. 
I I think that they've gone with the grey because they've used a different building technique with the plate. There is no sand green plate. So I think they've tried to stick with the colour palette and parts I've already got. Yeah, but, but everything every everything besides the movie, the Hogwarts Castle roof has always been grey. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Just in some of the so, movies so, green. For the some of the people great. who haven't seen it, shouldn't we be showing the picture? Uh, do you have one ABC? We'll have to go look for it. I don't know. I suggest something. I was expecting Fast Fingers RRP. You would find it quicker than me. Yeah, I think James had it the other night too. Wait, what are we looking at? What? The Harry Potter great castle. Great, great, great hall. Oh, I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. The Great Hall, yeah. Yeah. So it um, looks like a pretty decent build. I'm not into Harry Potter, especially. The missus is getting into it, though. My partner in crime. Uh -huh. Lego crime. Um, I think it's great. I think it's, great. <laughs> it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, but I've looked at it, and as a part outset, I actually think it's quite good. It's got some good parts and in it. For yeah, those that are yeah. building those the colours, it's got some damn good parts in it. The figs are so good. The figs are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, the facial expression. Yeah. Oh, it's got a printed rash. Come on. No, it's yeah, You'll have to bring it up. My, my computer's too slow. Okay, <laughs> hang on. I'll find it. I'll, I'll probably be buying a Just couple of them. Bricks don't have it listed. And then trading the mini games for stuff. <laughs> yeah. Of course, Give me. mate. Give me Give all me. of them. One of us. One of us. <laughs> oh. We also had we also had the rest of the Jurassic World sets released. The pictures. Oh yes, I know some people that are keen to see those. Yeah, those are really good. Genius T Rex. That's all I can say. Um, one one person that's named ABC, I believe. Hmm. <laughs> I've got it. Can you can you share me? Yeah, Tim, yep, screen share. Not not screen share. Um, sh put it on present. Let's end. Here we go. So this is based off this castle and the mini things are all based off the first book and movie. Oh, wow. Yeah. Awesome. I like, I like the rat. The rat's cool. The rat yeah. loves Peter it. Peter Pettigrew. Cool. And look at the... Uh, watch watch Look at the sorting hat in that the second floor on that side. Yeah, that is amazing. Yeah. That's so good. That's pretty and, cool. Yeah. I'm just wondering whether these are going to be stickers. They're probably yeah, they're stickers. Hundred percent, they're stickers. <laughs> square windows in that color. Yeah, so that's what I was looking at. The square yeah. windows. Yeah, these are these are apparently a thing that Harry Potter fans have been waiting for. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I hope I hope the um, I hope the mirror in the top is a print. I hope the mirror is a print at the top. The mirror of error said. I hope that's a print. The mirror, yeah. I'm also looking at the candlesticks. I reckon that's a new flame in there too. Yeah. Um, Look yeah. Like, it looks like the ice cream stickers in trans orange. I may be wrong. Which one was it? What are you looking at? Uh, when you're on the other view, there's candlestick sort of lamps on the walls. Yeah, Sheree, that, that Hagrid's completely new mold. Completely new. It is. You're it's completely new. new. Yeah, in the yeah. time I do, and I'm pointing to it. That, that low line just fluttering. I'm just wondering what the flame section is. It looks like the um, ice cream twisted one, like the soft serve type one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe moulded in orange. I don't know. I'm not so certain. I can't see it big enough to see. So, so this <laughs> this new set is basically the first scene of Harry Potter when they go to the castle. Not the first scene of the movie when they go to the castle. The first time we see the castle. The first time they yeah. see the castle. Yeah. Yeah. And it's nice to see that boat back too. By the way. Hell yeah. That's an old, a very old mould. That one. <laughs> um, and all of the kids minifigs. Um, they're actually. Small size feet, they're not like yeah. the regular yeah. size mini fig feet. It's based when they were 12. Well, yeah, so it's <laughs> Um, uh, I like Hermione's hair. Hermione's yeah. hair was good. And the, wa the wands now have their own molds. The wands are new mold. What? Yeah, when you show the figs, that they, they put so much effort. Yeah. That lamp, 
the lantern that Hagrid's holding is epic. That's a great piece. It looks like the spires too have a molded section to them. The smaller ones have a molded face on them. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They're not standard cones. They're actually molded with rounded like shingles. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh man, I, this I'm loving this. They put so much building. I love this set. I'm going to love seeing the rest of them. They put so much effort into these molds, these, all these new molds and everything for these sets. That's just awesome. Yeah. Note, um, have, a, have a look at the set and note uh, that it looks like it's modular, so other sets can snap yeah. into it. That's why I said that. Yeah, I said so, it yeah. like a modular. <laughs> so what, so what, happened with the, what happened with the original Harry Potter set, 2001 sets? Every set was put together. You can put them all together and make a big Hogwarts castle out of it. So that's what they're trying to achieve here, I think. Oh, yeah. real. And in wasn't, fact, the, wasn't the first wave all yellow faces too? Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. In, yeah. Well, the this first wave. The so 2001 to 2003, we're all yellow faced. Hmm. Um, and in fact, all the Harry Potter sets could connect together from 2001 to 2003. You can make a huge castle out of it. The original? Yeah, all, all of them could connect together to make a big Hogwarts. Oh, fair dinkum. Yeah. Yeah, and if you get carried away, you can make a massive Hogwarts like my friend Donna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, there's so much. So there's much. so much. They put so much effort into this. I'm really looking forward to seeing the rest of the sets. Like, they put so much effort into this set. There is one thing I would have loved to have seen, though, the curved sections where they put the stickers on them. If they had have done that as a mold of the groove brick, yeah, that, this set would sell absolutely gangbusters just for that particular part. Yeah, sure. Well, this is the oh, all the flashpants. Flashpants is in the chat. Hi, flashpants. Flashpants. I'm just wondering. We'll um, pick up on the, on that flashpants. The candlesticks are a new mold. Yeah. I'm just wondering what would be cooler in an anniversary year to re-release something like this or to re-release Classic Castle. I'm, I'm starting to think that a re-release of, say, the King's Castle or a later version of that would probably be a little bit better, maybe. Or they could do both. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yes. Yeah, that. Well. <laughs> yes. I, I'm it's sort of strongly yeah. feeling they might do some re-releases or not re-releases, but retakes on old themes just for the 60th <laughs> anniversary as a test yeah. of the water to see if they'll come back. You never know, James. I reckon they're keeping a heap secret. I reckon they're going to do something like that. I well, they, have they announced the um to the direct to consumer sets yet? Yeah, they've they've already announced it's going to be Jurassic Park and there's going to be an Indigo oh, yeah. Docks. Oh, oh Docks! Yeah. yeah, that'd be a big one. Yeah, um, yeah. But there's still modulars and still the other stuff as well. So yeah, there'll be another modular. Yeah. Well, there's always time to look at your smallest child and go sorry. We have to sell you for the extra Lego. And, you know, I'm not recommending that, but it might have to come to that. We were born with two kidneys. You know, what's the value? Oh, God. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, that looks cool. Yeah. They have the nice. official images. There's official images already. Mm. Yeah, I know. This is from the toy fair. Oh, wow. That's so cute. I want that so badly. That's adorable. Isn't it? I, I, I so, think um, we're talking too much about Harry but, Potter and Johnny G suggested, Johnny G said, can we please look at dinosaurs next? So I started yeah. clicking on things. Oh my yeah, God, he's got a camera. I love the camera. I want one of them. I love this dinosaur and I love that dinosaur. ABC, if you get this set in multiples, can I have a camera, please? <laughs> I'll trade you for it. Huh. I'll think about it. Oh. <laughs> That's a big camera. I, I mean, like, it's the yeah, size yeah. of the figure. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I can just use it as a, as a, on, a on an actual camera shot. The Triceratops. Actually, those little dinosaur figures are cool. Like, even the T-Rex there. Awesome. That, that is a cool T-Rex. Yeah, um, that is so cool. I must admit, I've been dissing Lego for a while now for only doing one Triceratops. I do also like world. the log bridge there too. I've been waiting six years and they still haven't given me a proper Triceratops again. 
I have they a gazillion T Rexes. It's ridiculous. They did give you a Triceratops head. They gave you a a um a museum model of it. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, well it done. Is. It's in the big. It's in the big set. It's Ooh, in the big look at the mobile phone. <laughs> So they've got G-Player, they've got Juniors. I'm excited about the Juniors because Juniors has no stickers. Yeah, juniors yeah and also so like the, um, those doors. That's printed. The doors are awesome. Plus that, you're getting like um, cool. printed files. Yeah, that I reckon that set will that's be cool. very hard to get when it comes out. Well, yeah. it, has a, it has a T-Rex in it. I mean, this, will, this will be the $80 set for the Juniors. Yeah, I think that might be going to the nephew for Christmas somehow. Get him into dinosaurs. The only, the only bit of... of, of um, Darren, that's it. it's still around at Christmas. Yes. Yeah, I oh, know. Well, that's when it comes out. The whole that'll, thing. That'll, that'll the criticism is that I keep bringing up gifts to pick what colour and, like, this... Like, they're still causing a, a rarity of the one that's sort of the green and brown. Yeah. Which only came in one big set. I know what they're doing. They're doing that on purpose. Yeah, but it's it's okay. It's it's only helping the secondary market. It's not helping Lego. I don't care about that. It's all right. Oh, well, we've been releasing new for that maybe. exact opposite reason. I maybe love the they... for the hot dog. I like the joke of the hot dog. <laughs> But maybe they did their research and found that the kids like the brown one over the green one. That's why they brought it back. Well, they couldn't. Oh, no. They couldn't exactly put a cow in it, could they? Or or a goat? Uh, no, you know, like no, Florida no, no. to be child friendly. Um, yeah. But to, to, to address our B statement, uh, damn those German kids if that's the case. <laughs> But it's well documented that it is German kids that they do their um yeah they do toy tests on yeah it's like they you know and how cute for a little baby that is adorable Woo. that is ridiculously adorable that is cool I can see an oh. army <laughs> oh, it's gonna be oh no there's several is not there another one by the door as well. Yeah, good luck, Darren. You'll be paying probably 10 I'm bucks per. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm just saying, extremely I'm lucky to get to that, oh. Yeah. It's just the next one. Yeah, I like that. Wonder how much a box will. I'm hoping we can get a bigger picture, <laughs> oh, but that's God. as good as it goes. Ooh. It's very cute, that dinosaur. Mmm. Oh. 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 I cannot believe they put that in the junior set. The kid will lose that. That'll be the first part that will. Yeah. Yeah, but it's That'll bigger than the baby T Rexes they've had in past. Like the baby T Rexes they've had in past have been tiny. I reckon something like that, five, four or five dollars, easy. Yeah, easily. I reckon. I reckon. Mm. I so want to. No, a ten cents. Baby yeah. <laughs> ten cents, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, James! Send all send all of your baby T Rexes to my address, LinkedIn. Chat. Hey, I bought. <laughs> yeah, you need to get yourself a PO box, James, if you're going to do that. The last thing you yes. want to do is keep give your stalkers your home address. Can't make it that oh, it's easy. Not my home address. It, it. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, wow. Are you saying that you were sleeping on a friend's couch, James? <laughs> no, I was thinking oh, no. I'm being an angle again. You're being <laughs> obtuse, yes. yes. Anyway. At least you're not being an angel. That would be misspelling. <laughs> this set right here is 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Really? really? Mm -hmm. That's not too bad. For yeah, that's bad at all. Set. No, that's a camera. And it's got a helicopter in it! Oh. Wow! Yeah. Helicopter, this helicopter. This I, I, I like the fact that you have two sets that have the um, pterodons in them. Uh, yeah. Helicopter. yeah. Save me having to buy multiples of a set. This set is yeah. $45. Yeah. So we get a helicopter and what was the pterodon? I like this. This is a very nice little detail. That's a little like case. Nice. nice. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, net thrower as well. 
This one looks I'm like not a lot. I don't know whether it's the color balance on the on the the image, but this one looks slightly different to the other one. This one's olive green. What color was the other one? That was just the one. Around. That was the same one that came in that other and helicopter. What's that set going to run out? Now that one's different again, isn't it? No, the, no. This the, one that looks like a the Sheree, wasn't it three? Wasn't that one in the helicopter set in the original Jurassic World set? Um. Okay. This is the color that the colorway that I don't have. Yeah. Yeah. So the other one was in the helicopter in the other, the original yeah, Jurassic World yeah, set. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this one's dirty. This one's dirty. Okay, that's like an olive olive green. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think it's thirty dollars a couple might be coming on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can see those flying off the shelf. And it I like the new I like the new mud guard oh, too in black. Well I must say I like the look of this because it looks more realistic scale than the last lot we got. Yeah. That that Jeep is fantastic. That's all. Awesome. Yeah, Green. I love the squared up guards on them. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, it's like they've actually put a lot more effort into everything and refining the designs a lot more. And even even the stand is pretty damn good. <laughs> I don't think that comes with it, mate. I don't think it comes with that, Darren. <laughs> oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I sort of knew that, oh, but, you know, I'm like... Isn't this like literally the same set that came out? That was that ta Target exclusive in the original sets. Oh, uh, let's have a look. I, I think Johnny G one needs a dozen eggs. <laughs> Sheree, this was that one that came with the it's two, the very, two green. Very, very similar. Yeah, it came with the Not two green the, dinosaur things. No, I know which one you're talking about. I brought it behind me now. Hang on. Can I pull it up without breaking it? Yeah. But that's a new no. that's a new head mold for that dinosaur, isn't it? You have to go off and you have to go off and screenshot the show. It. Yeah, no, I'm just having a look at it. Um, no, it's quite different actually. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. make me go off screenshot. Uh, hang on. Um, where are we? Where's this the, one is sixty dollars. Screen sharing. Hang so. on. Stop screen sharing for a minute. Okay. All right, this is the one you're talking about, isn't it? The little yes. like diagonal shape. Yeah. All right. Well, it, it's the oh. same. On the sides, the Ooh, concept the? is similar, but it's not. It's different. It's very different. Yeah. It, um. Yeah. So on the sides, you've got different pieces. Like this is very basic, extremely yeah. basic. The front end of it is somewhat similar, to this, but not by that much. Oh, it's, it's it's completely different. Like it uses the same colours, but that's about it. Like yeah. Yeah. But not it's the, the same, same as the It's not the same as the Raptor page. It does seem to have some of the features of the Indominus breakout, maybe that's what you're thinking of. Yeah. I've got that behind me too, but I'm not picking that up, sorry. Okay. Let's go back to screen <laughs> It does look very familiar like they've used certain elements and reused yeah them yeah sets. so they've yeah. reused like this piece here uh at the front but yeah can't even see if they've got a jurassic world logo there it doesn't look like it well the good thing is the dinosaur's got a new head mold and this is different and this bit's different mm. like this is actually all more fully enclosed in and these sections are a lot small. Like the, on the other one that I was just showing you, these sections were like the main parts all the way around. And this set seems more realistic than the other one. Yeah, I think, like I said, they've refined their designs a lot better. Um, maybe learnt from last time. Like it's been a couple of years since the last movie. Yeah, twenty fifteen. Obviously, they they would have already been starting to develop these. Back when the last sets came out, so yeah, I'm I'm excited for this dinosaur. is is very cool. I'm the head mold part. I'm a bit disappointed that the rest of it doesn't seem very different. Mm. Like it's still all the same body shapes. 
Yeah. I mean, I can understand. It, it seems to be the way that it goes with the dinosaurs is that they're just recarved from what they have. Anyone seen um, the, the Toys That Made Us uh, on Netflix? Oh, I love it. Uh, I saw the one about Hasbro. Was it Hasbro? Yeah, Hasbro. Did they did yeah. the Star Wars figures. Before Kenna. Lego jumped into the, the let's make things that are licensed Star Wars. Um, yeah, they they actually were talking about the, the toy making process and how you, you know take something that's already existing and you add or subtract to it. So that's pretty much all that Lego is doing with their molds is they're adding and subtracting to whatever they've already designed because it's just easier that way. Mm. Because starting just something like, from scratch is ridiculous. Just like to say hi to Mickey Brickasaurs. She's dropped in. She obviously heard the word dinosaur mentioned. Oh, she probably saw the little dinosaurs and was like, I better go say hi. Hi, Nikki. Hi, hi Nikki. Hi, Nikki. But yeah, um, I like they've put a few extra flourishes to the patterning on it. I can see that much. Yeah. Like they put effort into that, but the mold itself is still very Velociraptor. Mm. I suppose we should be happy for what we're given. Um, we've got blue, blue in a helicopter. Yeah. There's, there's not enough helicopters apparently. There must always be helicopters. More helicopters. I quite like this one. The shape of this one is a lot more realistic. Than, um, Love. This one, this one's probably, yeah. this one's probably the best price set, fifty dollars for that amount of pieces. Yeah. Let's see, see if I've got a helicopter price. There. This oh, is um forty know. USD, which is not not a bad price at all for that many pieces with a dinosaur. Um, I can't find my helicopter, but um, to show you the difference, but. The front here, this is all molded and lovely with the new one. With the old mm -hmm. one, it was open. Like, it seemed very unfinished. Yeah. Did you get the um, yellow helicopter as well, Cherie? What yellow helicopter? There's a yellow uh, sky crane by helicopter on the uh, Jurassic Park. Set. Okay. Uh, are you, are you, huh? are you... He means diamond. Oh, you mean, you mean 2012? Yes. Yeah, that was freaking massive. That's awesome. I love that. Um, that was a part of our dinosaur display for years before Jurassic World stuff came out. So, obviously, oh, cool. we'll be upgrading our helicopter. Yeah. It just annoys me when they put the helicopter in with something you want to collect more, like more than one of. Yeah. Yeah. Um, although not so sad this time because I've already got blue. You got blue, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess that's the downside of having um, dinosaurs that are actual named characters. Yeah. But I'm I, I'm actually impressed. I'm, I'm honestly impressed by the this new helicopter. It looks more realistic. Mm. They've put a lot more effort into it. The mold is is a lot better. Whereas before it looked like something that they're throwing together for like the very most basic city helicopter, you know, the style that I'm talking about. Yeah, very yeah, poorly yeah. sort of put together. Yeah, with like open spaces where there shouldn't be open spaces. Um, oh yeah. yeah. I've I've got at least two of these helicopters somewhere. I know one of them's one of them's in the display, one of them's loose somewhere, but it's not anywhere handy. Oh, I would show you the difference. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Oh wow, that is a nice set. Wow. I have to say they really stepped up their game. Um, as someone who's like been collecting dinosaurs since twenty twelve, I'm impressed with what they've achieved here. Yeah, good upgrade. Obviously, really upgrade. been listening to what people have been saying about their sets. And taking that to the design phase and going, okay, how can we do this better? Yeah, yeah. about time. They are they are probably so excited to put these on the show because of how well they are. This, okay, this, this here is a, a remake of the same similar sort of thing that you saw 
in the Jurassic World sets. But that this trailer is, still, is so good. Oh my god, that's so awesome. much better detailed. Like yeah, I think cool. I only bought one of the sets over. I, I, yeah, that that is the quad bike. That's a body. Not like. Oh, yeah. yeah, you finally got your act together. Uh, here we go, new dinosaur. Can't remember what this one's called. I've read what it is. Aliosaurus. Yeah, Tim, can you check the new messages? Hang so on. This Hang one on. looks like it's uh. This one looks like it's sort of a, a remold of the Indominus Rex. They've added stuff to it. That isn't the our messages. That's my favorite set, the one before that that you just showed. Oh, I was expecting a better photo of that. Jeez. That's my favorite set. Okay, this is the point where I stop and say thank you, Brothers Brick, for, for sharing these photos. But I was really hoping for a second angle on this one. There's only one, one angle. Yeah, that set is so good. That was a good set. Even the truck is much better. Like oh, this so one. Good. So this one. This one's one twenty. One twenty was the same price as the the set that came with that big cage on the back. This huge truck. Yeah. But this set has better play value. You've got everything that you need in oh, a set. Um, hang on. I'll just take us off screen share for a second so I can show you what I've got here. So this is a like the similar size set that we got the last time. And uh, just don't pay attention to all the peeling and dying stickers because this was living next to my um TV and it was getting hot. So lesson learned, don't put near TV or stickers will peel off and die. Um, but you can see how very basic this vehicle is compared to what we were just looking at. Yeah, the new one looks fantastic. It's really good. It's, it's it looks like a, a ten year old designed it. To be honest, it's very boxy. And yes, I know the vehicle itself was a bit boxy looking, but you could have put more details on it. Like you've got, look at this. This is studs out. It looks unfinished. Yeah. yeah. Looks very unfinished. Yeah, it, ha it, ha it has no, it has no sort of clean line. Yeah. So, that's what 2015's you know line was like. Yeah. Very, very unfinished. Very, very simple. Lacking a lot of details. I'll go click back on and we'll have have a look again at um Yeah, I'm trying to unmute James. And this is what we've got now. Oh you can see there's a lot more detail. Um less studs out, like there's more detail, it's not just flat. And if there was a better picture, that foliage build is fantastic. That is really cool. Mm. That's a really yeah, cool Yeah, I'll, I'll have to look and see if I can find some more pictures. So what this is oh, in cool. Dora Raptor Rampage. That work? I'm so, shaking my fist at you virtually, Darren. So uh, about this set, about this set, um, Douglas says that this set was listed at $100 at New York City Fair. But really? on brick set, on brick set, they were given the price of one thirty USD. Hmm. So I don't know. It's it's either gonna be it's either gonna be one ninety Australian or one sixty Australian. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So there's my Triceratops. With yeah, there it is. There you go. You got it. Thanks, Lego. Thanks for the terror. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? It's a skeleton head. That house, that structure reminds me of like a friend set. Just I don't think it's another a baby. very, very empty set with baby yeah. dinosaurs. It is a very friends looking set. It's cool, but very empty. Um, it's definitely a play set. 
Uh, it's it's like some of the cities that it's, uh, it's only supposed to be like a facade. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I've run out of pictures. But you can always mock it up, which is good. Yes, yeah. that is the joy. Um, this is some brick. Did anyone else, does anyone know if anyone else had better photos? I don't think there's any photos on Brickset yet. Yeah, they're, they're all on Brickset. Everything's on Brickset. Is Brickset? there? Yeah, everything is listed. Literally everything. Oh. oh. Ah. Uh, sorry. Brickset.com? Must be. So how does one find it? Teach me your ways. It should be on the <laughs> It'll be on the right tree. It'll be on the right saying you said. Scroll down. Scroll down. Hang on. Yeah. Is it a, is oh, it a new minifig? Oh, no. Okay. The EMFs have been put there. Just, just look up Jurassic World. Just look up Jurassic World on the top. Up there? Yeah. And then it should, it should show up saying Fallen Kingdom. Ah. Uh. There it is, Fallen Kingdom. There it is. Click on the Fallen Kingdom there. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that was the other thing I noticed, is that they've got a round net for this one. Yep. Instead of square nets. Yeah, the old ones were square. Yeah, the one that played the new police set square too. Got it. Go away. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's a bit of picture of that one. But I'm uh, I'm quite digging this. That's a great it, actually. The gyro spear. Nice. So now you can see what I was saying. Oh, you can't see all of the things that you want to see here. Ooh. Like, you couldn't even see the dinosaur very well. So you got a dinosaur, you've got the gyrospheres, you've got the... Remarkably yeah. similar I know design. it's a rehash, but it's a lot better than that one. That, that folding is oh. fantastic. Sorry, husband is weighing in here because we're looking at dinosaurs. So what part of it's a rehash? Come on, if you're going to talk, talk properly. The vehicle's um, rehash. The design, the shape. The shape is better. <laughs> we just looked at it. The structure. It's a lot better. It's a like, lot more it, refined. It's still a boxy car with four by four wheels. You just showed everybody. Mm. But, you know, if that's what it is. That that it's a pretty cool house. build, though. I like the way they've done the canopy on it. It's better. Yeah. They're better colours, I think. It's yeah, and it's better colours too. Wait. But I like I like the gyrosphere part. Like look at all that greenery. Yeah, better put you up on um present because no one can see it. It's a bit small. Huh? Yeah. You're not on I present. I was already presenting. She's presenting. Oh she is now. Okay. Sorry. I'm like, huh? I'm I'm screen sharing. It's okay, it's me, obviously. You're just special. I'm special. We know. we know. The internet tells me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, the dinosaur is a bit passe. It's not that much different than the last one we got as a special dinosaur, but uh, mm. at least it's a different colour. Different patterns yeah. on it. Different Slightly head. different on the front. Well, the head's not all that different, really. It's like they've just sculpted a few extra things on it. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that one. Here's a better look at that one we were just looking at. So you get blue with that one as well. Oh, blue goes with that as well. Cool. So, yeah, you've got a facade very, very similar to, you know, some of your superhero sets give you just a facade. Yeah. It's just for a background set, really. Yeah. 
Oh, what? What we need a backdrop for all these started. awesome things. Oh, look, look, it's an umbrella. <laughs> it's an umbrella? Yeah, well, since they brought out the umbrella for Lester. Oh, yes. All of a sudden, the umbrella's popping up everywhere. Yep. Hagrid had an umbrella. Yeah. Uh -huh. He did too, and that's right. Hagrid's set. umbrella. Hagrid's umbrella is his wand. But mm. isn't the umbrella the same umbrella they used for the penguin? Yes. Yeah, but it's it's his wand in the movie. It's his wand in the book. Yeah. What what I'm saying is it's not a new piece. I'm just saying that okay. they're using it more. Cool. Oh, what's next? There is no next. Uh, I have to go out and look at other things. Why can't they just put everything? Yeah. Everything under the same thing. Ah. Hang on. So when are we going to have Jurassic Park meet Harry Potter? Yeah, oh, on. Incredible Beast. Oh, okay. Dragon yeah. Racing. Dragon Racing? What? Yeah, did they have that? They have that over here, mate. Like, no, no, they fly. <laughs> like, didn't they fly the dragons and it was like a racing competition or something? Or... No. What dragon are you doing, We've got an interesting question in the chat. How, they come, How they many come 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 colors are there? I'm pretty sure there's only two currently, black and pink now, with Harry Hagrid. Pretty That's close. black and brown. Yes, sir. I, I'm really getting what uh, so Panels are cool. It depends on what I'm really talking about. The bigger molded ones, like came in the Friends, there's a yellow and a trans purple that I know of. Ooh, these tiles. Oh, that would be the Fabuland style, wouldn't it? Yeah. The flowery parasol thing. Yeah, they, they're, cool. they're cool. Printed Jurassic World parts, I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Printed these. Don't get enough of those printed parts. This has me oh, for if That's printed. Also, if those um, diagonal black and yellow slash ones are printed, they're good too. Oh, yeah, this is genius. So everything will be printed. They don't do stickers in genius. I saw that. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we already discussed that. He's like, I like how they have the T Rex of the hot dogs. Lester size. Okay. What umbrella does Lester have? The one that came in that, that yeah. set in the Harry Potter one. Okay. I believe it's only black and pink. I believe that's it. Right. And hopefully so is that a four studs across unit or? I think so. Actually, I think it's three studs. I think it's three studs. Uh, Hubby's just seen the di dinosaur Jeep play for the first time. He's like, <gasps> Yeah, I so <laughs> like that log bridge. That is awesome. We'll say it loud enough so everyone can hear. I said, uh, I'm just saying the Triceratops is adorable. Nice yeah. to hear you in here. <laughs> oh, this this little guy's cute too. I, I think yeah. um mums and mums will really take to that. Oh yeah, like it's got such cutie factor. To me, it looks like a giraffe. That other one. Oh, I is. quite like the control tower piece there. That's quite good too. That that yeah. is good. not bad. Well, that's not I've very got... good. I've got a friend who's a huge Duplo reseller, and yeah, she's um, she's oh, having kittens over these dinosaur sets with Duplo. Oh, is that the Very same popular. lady who who ha had all the dinosaur? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> she's awesome. That's <laughs> where I got my Duplo dinosaur. Oh, from. I love Douglas's comment. Friends, dinos with skin holes and heads for their ribbons. <laughs> <laughs> Top comment, mate. Top comment. Oh dear. Yeah, no. Okay. So what else do we have that was new? The um the Infinity War sets and the Hulkbuster um, UCS. UCS Hulkbuster. Hulkbuster. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Star Wars. Yeah, that should be on the homepage. It should be on the homepage, right? 
Yes, I saw the UCS Hogbuster earlier today. Um, at two hundred dollars, room in Australian. That's it's not at a good price yeah, what for me. Fall but under? please help me. A lot of people. Um, a lot of people will get that. I can't hear oh, yeah. everyone at once. Marvel. Marvel. Marvel, yeah. Just scroll and they should be there somewhere. Hang on. I'm surprised it doesn't like sort by. Pro year at least. Something. This is 2018. This is 2018. So by something, yeah. There you go. There it is. Starting from the top, yeah. They're going to sell monster amounts of this. Yep. Sell hand and fist. Yeah. I just like the fact that they've put a heap of parts in that color now with, out in one set. Thing for those who want to build steampunk themes, it gives you a good chance to pick up some reasonable amount of those sort of colors. Yes. Not cheaply, but easily. It looks cool. Next. Oh, the dropship. That's cool. It's a battle pack. That's cool. Yeah. And yeah, dropships, though. Well, considering the movie, um, you, you kind of you'd be shocked if they didn't drop a lot of sets. Oh, no. this, oh, set this set's only thirty dollars. It's not a bad price. Yeah. I have to say, um, I'm liking the windscreen on the right. Yeah. Sort of starry shaped one. This one over here. A regular group. That's yeah. And this piece looks new. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, I made I made the comment in my stream yesterday that these Marvel sets are fantastic prices for what they are. Yeah. Really good prices. They're really You're good. A few jewels and that in there as well. By the looks of it. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's for the busy stone. Oh, I can get bigger. Yeah. Teenage Groot. Yeah. Oh, teenage so, Groot. oh, I can see the raccoon selling quite well. Raccoon Army. <laughs> raccoon oh, Army. Uh, it'll be hard for the price point, but raccoons all. Oh, look at all these icy looking pieces. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. at that one in between next to the jewels. Mm. The clear looking one. I'm wondering what that is. Yeah, those oh, that's, ones. Are that's just one of those things that Spider Man's web was in when he held his web. That he oh, is, that a, yeah. is that a transparent purple flower? No, 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 no. Those are um, those are the gems for the from the movie. You put them in the big set. The they have to yeah. No. Well, yeah. Interesting. They're all really good prices. Like, really good for Marvel sets. I think um, there might be seeing a difference between Marvel and DC. Maybe they've got different licensing deals yeah. with Lego and we're seeing different pricing as a result. So this one $50 and you get 416 pieces and most of these minifigs are exclusive. Yeah. Oh, they might have gotten a package deal, Hubby was saying, because Disney owns Marvel. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm oh. wondering... What I, I love was, them gold rods. Ooh. What I'm wondering about this set is if those window yes, pieces those. is if those window pieces are printed. Mm. They look I doubt like it. They the, the 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 white on black. They're most likely to be stickers. Yeah, they're most likely. Yeah. 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 Um. Is that no? No. Is this the last one? No, there's more. You gotta go back. You opened it up. Just click on the image for the next one. Just click on the image. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I clicked on the wrong thing. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> this set is such a good price. This is forty five dollars for all that. If it'll ever work. Forty five bucks for all that. Wow. Uh, really? Yeah. Are you stealing all my bandwidth? Yeah, someone yeah. else. Uh, so, Tim, Tim. Yeah, mate. You can see it's $30 US for 375 pieces. 
Oh, wow. And is that the same size as the UCS one? No, no, no. Oh. It's the same size as the old one they did. The old one? Yeah, from oh. a couple of years ago. Which I didn't get. Oh, you're right. I can see now. I'm close to look. That's got some pretty cool parts in it, too. Yeah. That's different. That's just that. Yeah, I can flog that to the great ball contraption, guys. That's a bonus. Just the cannon. <laughs> no comment. Just the cannon. <laughs> that might be a set I'll actually get. See, oh, you always have to look in a set what you can flog to someone else. Okay, so see, this, <laughs> see that see that gem holder there, the gold piece. So you it's buy all the, the Infinity Gauntlet. You buy all the sets and you put all the gems on it. Well, people oh. don't. Yeah. Quite, yeah, quite this I don't know about the new Milana though. Quite liking that set because of the wedge piece, wedge plates in what you cover. So this one's a hundred. It'll enable some different building for stuff we've got project coming up soon. Yeah. Been waiting for some new wedge plate colours to come out. Interesting. Okay, what else have we got? The last set is so cool. That is so freaking cool. Yeah. Oh, because you can make it into a modular RIB. That is so cool. I but it's the also good they've hinged it so you can close it up. That adds play factor to a lot of kids that they love. It's got a lot of different combinations for how it can look. What's yeah. the price point on that? So this one is 100 US for a 1,000 pieces, and it's 150 pounds. That's cheap. Yeah. Hmm. I can see that oh, for $170, $160. I saw one that year's bottom man. I'm seeing lots and lots of good stuff. Mm. So it's, yeah, it's $160. It's in the building. Nice. Stuff all the, stuff all, stuff all the mini I'm looking at this. So $160 well, well, on sale, yeah, yeah. that would be what? 140 Yeah, yeah, it'd be like that. 35 Yeah. Mm. Not bad. I'm just well, hoping all those grey tiles down the front are printed. So Mark, Mark was telling me yesterday that this is half the Stranger Sanctorum and half Peter Parker's apartment. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. So it's Peter Strange or Dr. Parker? <laughs> what, Dr. Parker, Peter Strange, what? Well, mm, plot twist. Plot twist. <laughs> Uh, what else do you want to look at? Oh, I'm here. Star Wars. Star Wars. There's a couple of new Star Wars sets that yeah. are being brought in. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, Castle Run Falcon. Yes, um, the Darth Maul construction figure. Hey, James. My... Yes. That land speed, that sand speeder was the first set to appear in the US, but it hasn't appeared here. Oh, it's been around like six months ago. It was the first set that appeared over here in RRB. I'm yeah. assuming that you, this, this would be a story switch on that set. It's the land speeder or sand speeder. It's going to be a story uh, I've seen that in a variety of places. I've seen that in Target. I've seen that in... Okay, what am I looking for? I don't. Star Wars. Um, uh, yes, I won. Yeah. Yeah, Darth yeah, Maul. Darth Maul, I think there was a Castle Run. Yeah. yeah, there you go. That's nice. Yeah, so this there was. Um, um, uh, if you're going to talk, talk louder. Yep, no, a different. Can see you pointing. Okay, yeah, so that's one of them. That's one of them. And then there's also a, a Clone Trip Battle Pack. And then there's um, well that that's your regular Millennium Falcon, but it, hey Sheree, it's a knob before Tom Taylor turned it into his, his personalized craft. Sheree, it looks nice until you find out it's two hundred and fifty dollars. What? Yeah, the American oh, price is the thing now. Like. It's one hundred and seventy US, so it's two fifty. Yeah. Yeah, someone was saying the nose of the Millennium Falcon pulls out and converted into the push tug. I don't think there are pictures of things. Yeah, they're not official yet. They're not official yet. No. no. Okay, so what am I looking at? Oh, I wish we could look at the um, Build Your Own Brickhead set that got leaked today. Or something new on Toy Fair. That was awesome. 
Build your own brickhead? Yeah, it looks pretty. That one, that one. Yeah, that one. Oh, hello. Go brick me. Oh, that's. I like that. Darren, wait till we get a price. Darren, wait till we get a price. I was trying to say that. Um, I don't want to know the price. No, no, it's $45 for standard 100 pieces. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's, it's quite a reasonable price. Yeah, and because you've got a lot of brick in it, which is getting harder and harder to get, so that's not bad at all. That's a heap of price. If it's got several of those um, five plate high four stud on the front bricks by two, yes. that little one there, yes, um, that'll be good value if it's got three or four of those in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it'd have enough for you to make a brick head. That is yeah. so good. It do have enough to make multiple brickheads. So there's a few here that haven't obviously been um, released yet. Yeah, I'm probably going to wind up buying a few of the flash just for the coloured brick that's in it. I think we'll You're going to end up buying a few of the brick that are parts in it. Elsa, Anna, and Olaf. Olaf? Yes. Anna and Olaf. Yeah. There's I'm no Gandalf yet. Star Lord, Gamora. Question mark. I wonder what that'll be. Oh, there's a bunny there. Which turkey Miss Three has, has the bunny. Yeah, I have the bunny. That's why it's <laughs> still there's a bunny. only just been oh uh, well nobody can see it because we're on screen share. But uh, I showed it earlier and if you if you didn't see it then you'll just have to go back and rewind and watch. Oh hand solo, Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Have the Harry Potter ones been named yet? No. Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Luke, uh, Yoda, Boba. No, nah, get it right. It was Luke and Yoda. Yoda. Hey, I the Harry, Luke. the Harry Potter ones would have been three that I didn't know the names for. So it'd be Harry, Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Uh, yeah. Interesting point. Uh, might have been one of the question mark ones. Might have been Harry Potter ones. Yeah, it'd be Harry Potter. Three of them. Three of them. Three of them. Three of them. Hey, if you're gonna talk, talk. About that. <laughs> you're gonna Johnny, Johnny G came with a classic comment. Should be called "Go Brick Yourself." <laughs> <laughs> that probably probably comes out as something offensive in other languages. Yes, yes. that's something you have to be very aware of. So is there anything else that we wanted to look at or are we done? As, as um, we found out when they took the Pajero to Spain. Click on click on um uh city, see if there's anything that's been leaked for Hospital. So much <laughs> Timmy's calling for a hospital straight up. There's names. No, I, I hear it's a thing. <laughs> oh but, uh, good. I hear the ice, ice is coming, coming back. back. Arctic is coming back. So we've got Ice Glider, Exploration Team, Ice Crawler, Ice... Uh, Arctic Why are you doing Arctic? Arctic, 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 Arctic Well, they bring back the bloody morning, so I might as well bring that back. I think a lot of people like the Arctic because of the orange. I'm not seeing anything else really new. Oh, Outdoor Adventures. There's an ambulance helicopter. I already got it. No, no, you already got it. <laughs> Hospital! Hospital! Like after ten million years of asking for hospital, it looks like there's a number that says hospital. Ooh. They heard me. Ah. Now they heard Timmy's building a hospital. Let's let's put a hospital out. Now they're going to rub it in and say, here's a hospital. It's like, you've done all that hard work, now here have a hospital. Yeah, I know. Damn. It doesn't look like there's anything else new. No, no, Mini no, fix. no, 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 no. Oh, passenger look, train. Tracks look at the new scene, man. Oh, I got a new train with the, the brand new tracks. Mm. Look at the new scene, that's great. Make me go to the top and click again. There you go. Ta -da, uh, da. Oh, that is official images. 
Oh, hello. Oh, hello. That's awesome. Look at that. The Look party at clown movie. is going to be so sought after because of the balloon animals. Look at that. Oh, oh, totally. you, get, you get two balloon animals. So I'm impressed with that. Yeah. Fireworks. I also reckon that's a new balloon shape too. Yeah, it is. We discussed this I'm before. Loving, I'm loving this. this yeah. On the one oh, thing I heard, I don't know whether it's a rumor or true that apparently the policeman will be one to a box. Not happy about that at all. What is it? I, what? Hope, I, hope, I hope that's not true. What, what is it? What did you say? Yeah, I say he's the one there's Apparently, multiple. he is only one to a box. But I. Because I, that, that thing is a 60th anniversary, many things. There should at least have two because you have two sets in a box. That's the police van. Okay, go back to the police van. That yeah, police car cool. was the first set with a police mini figure. That's on that picture. Yes. Ah. Yeah. That's oh, a 60th cool. anniversary. And he couldn't fit into it. No, he couldn't. He couldn't fit in it. Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny he's 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 we need a new police station, a new helicopter, like Raider Hall. Oh, the cake and the cactus go. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to have to buy a whole box of these. Damn you, Legos. I yeah. think we'll be getting several boxes. Holy crap. Being a cool man. Being a so cool. I like the race car guy. I can just see so much potential for that car suit. Oh, uh, for sure, Dad. All of them are fantastic. Yeah. But things like things like Kitty's rides in a in a fairground, things like that. Yes. And I have oh, one thing totally. to say to anyone who's like, "Eh, I hate that." I I have this I, to say. I love it. Yeah, I love it. That's awesome. I can see so much potential for using that headpiece for other things. Oh, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> boy. I mean. As an example, look, the car that goes around the car suit guy to make a little ride to go in a mall. You know, like you have your coin operated, operated mall rides in your mall. Yeah. So. That's legit. That's a nice space. Yeah. Balloon. Oh, look at that. Yeah, see, that's a nod to the Series 1 thing. Yeah, that, that, that is a new balloon. It's oh. awesome today. I don't care about that. I like that series one scene. That's a bit bagged. Uh, my friend that has the, the medieval castle, um, you know, massive mock. If you've seen it on my on my um, channel, I, I joked to him. I said, "Now you need to have a unicorn army." He said, "But he, he turned around and said, no, I can't have that. They'd be laughed off the battlefield.'" And I said, "Excuse me, the unicorn is royal. It's on the coat of arms of." Um, United Kingdom. Yep. <laughs> like, Wee. dude, it doesn't get more royal than a unicorn. Jeez, I'd be collecting Wee. all of this armor. Wee. But the unicorn's cool too. Wee. What happened? Unicorn. Ah, oh, here's a whole lot of them. Ah, that is a fabulous box. That is cool. That's cool. I, I love how they have that police man in there. That's awesome. Oh, I love. Oh, there's that mouse again. Oh, mousey. No. Oh no, that guy. That guy is only going to be one to a box. Yeah, because it's it's the fortieth anniversary of Minifix and the sixtieth anniversary of Lego, so it's in there. That means it's not going to be sixty. Sixty-one. It'll, It'll be sixty-one because there's no way you could do that mathematically. It's impossible. Billsy's in the ball chat. Oh, how many's in the set? Seventeen. Okay, yeah. More, yeah. more yeah. importantly, Spong is in the chat. Hi, Spongo. That's really yeah. interesting. Because it doesn't actually show this guy. Yeah, he's there in the middle. middle. In the middle. Oh, there he is in the middle. Yeah. I'm blind. Clearly, I'm blind and deaf. One. Two. So in the middle you've got 40 years of the mini thing and then the, down the bottom 60 years of the Lego brick as those two mini things. Yeah. 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 So 16 plus him. I really hope that's not the case that it's one extra one per box that's going to cause 
so much drama over such, over such a basic minifig too like the only thing that really makes him special is that one little tile yeah yeah and the fact that he's a brand new of a classic but yeah Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed to hear that. Okay. But anything else we want to look at or am I finished? That's about it, I think. Yeah. I think you're right. We're off into the... Yay! Quack, quack. Yay. What were we trying to show earlier? Oh, yeah. Bunny. Yeah, the other side. The bunny. Bunny! Bunny! Yeah, wabba, 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 wabba. Oh, yeah, you might want to take me off present. Okay. I'm on present. Present and accounted for. He's present and accounted for. Okay, dokie. Yes, so that looks really cool. I'll be very disappointed if indeed it is only one of those policemen toolbox that's going to cause a Mr. Gold situation. I'm sure of it. I just said in the chat, I reckon it's going to be like a limited one that's one per three boxes or something like that. Mm. So it's like a special edition one. Honestly, uh, I look at him and I'm like, mm -hmm. there's nothing overly special other than it being a remake. And nostalgia. Yeah, I don't have the nostalgia, so. Yeah. But so in that case, being a, a, a completionist, I'll probably chase after him anyway. Because what we got but, the last minifigure that we were missing out of our um, Batman series two today. Yeah. But if it's done that way, I want to see them do it. I am disappointed if it's done that way that it says seventeen to click. It should be like Mister Gold, where he wasn't part of the set; he was just an add-on. Yeah. If you found yeah. him. So yeah. I'm hoping that it's more of a case of they've added like an extra few to the, like an extra one of each to the yeah to the box would be nice yeah because at the moment I think oh when you have sixteen how many do you get three full sets three full sets plus extras then there's oh four and maybe it'd be part of the extras. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's how it'll work. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. One of the ones that usually has five, they might cut down to four just for squeezing in. Yeah, I guess we'll wait and see. I mean, as soon as they're out, somebody will do an unboxing. We will soon find out what the case is with that. Team. Yeah. Oh, we've got Hank and Bricks has joined us in the chat too. Yeah, and Billsy. Got a yeah, few we in here. Billsy, where were you, Darren? Oh, okay. Right. Hey. No, I'm not. Quite hey, yeah, Jeff. I'm not hosting. No, I am. Sorry, I'm used to it. Husband is confused because he's like going, but you're on the screen still presenting. Like, no, no, I've got it clicked on me so I can yes. see myself not that i'm narcissistic or anything it just helps with framing yeah aussie big oh, boy. get it right <laughs> oh that's mean no, no he's used to watching it on his tablet so he's oh. confused I was oh, like, gotcha. no, no, i'm not hosting yeah. if i was hosting i'd be on the screen on youtube but i'm not yeah, yeah. i actually have a question for james Ooh. What was it you wanted to say about Yoda's Yoda in the backpack? Oh, yes. Um, hi. Uh, yeah, so there's a new Star Wars set um, that is um, a, a rejuvenation of uh, Yoda's hut uh, when he was in Dagobah. Yeah. And so that, that entire scene has pretty much been redone. And um, there's a, a new piece of uh, we can actually put Yoda in uh, Luke's backpack and just, like, a training set and stuff like that as well. So um, for anybody who wants to get some seagulls, you can pop the seagulls in and you can uh, kind of um, have a little bit of a homage to the 
the classic. Um, does anybody else know about the, the, uh, the song? Stop it now. What the heck's that? Don't know. Um, okay. Are you right, Jim? This is the part where I say I wasn't actually paying attention. Everyone's audio is playing up for me. Does anyone can hear me? Yep. I can hear you. Sure. Can hear me. Mark's holding that my up at the moment. Sound check, everyone. Yeah, you're working. Why? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> No, no, I'm choosing a letter at random. I, I chose Y. <laughs> well, X, M, O. Oh, dear. Um, we had feedback from a source bottle. A source bottle? What? Explain, Spongo. Oh, Spongy. Last, last time I heard mayo wasn't a source, but anyhow. Yeah, it's only, only when, when it's cold. It, right? Only when it gets congealed. Oh, well. Uh, we've descended into madness once again. That's usual for this stream, isn't it? Actually, it's taken us a long time tonight. Indeed. Yeah, because it's Sunday. Are you going to bed? Good night. Good night. Good night, Aussie Brick Bloke. Good night, Aussie Brick Bloke. Aussie Brick Bloke. Good night, dude. Good night, dude. All right. I'll get him on one of these days. So is that his, that his new official name, is it now? Aussie Brick Bloke. Yes. yes. He's like, never in a million years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, he said never in a million years will he come on a live stream like this. He'll help me on the live builds, but that's it. Oh, oh. Arby, are you ready to go to, to bed too? It is, yeah, it I'm is going, the I'm future going. in your place. All right, no, mate. I am ready. I'll we'll see you guys this week. Sometime. Thanks, mate. Night. No. See you, buddy. And then there were four. Yeah, he was. Well, this is looking all right. As we hold it up. Oh. Not bad. Yeah. I, I like different colours, mate. It's cool. I don't like having boring bloody hospitals, so I, I, I'm very colourful. But a good technique to use is to use double thickness, like two stud wide walls, and put a different colour each side and say something like a hallway. Yeah. yeah. So if you, you make a piece of brick build art on one side and then have either a plain wall on the other or a different bit of brick build art, brick build art on the other side. Yeah. I'm wondering whether or not this would be the great opportunity that Lego has had to actually release a, a two by two tile slip of vomit. Because the hospital, <laughs> people, are, people are going to be ill. People are going to be sick. And. <laughs> Yeah, just have a slick of vomit so you can put it on the floor or, or whatever, and then you, you've, got, you've got somebody sweeping it up, and then... No? Maybe. It's a multi-purpose well, thing. We and, need, and maybe... need Lego bedpans and... Yeah? Why not? And pee you know bottles. What? I'm going somewhere with this. So most of the things that I say, they're actually... It's a follow-on. And the follow-on from this is the fantastic... And we haven't really seen any pictures about this. Um... But this will be a, a huge coup when it comes out. But I've heard whispers about the creator sets that are coming out the next wave with the roller coasters. Roller coasters, vomit. It just goes together. It's just perfect. So, yeah, they could introduce in the hospital. And roller coaster vomit. Oh, yeah. Great. We've played Roller Coaster Tycoon. We, we, all, we all know about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, why not? Oh, dear. oh, James. 
Well, the resellers will be having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like Spongo's comment. My niece uses the friend's kettle as the big pan. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> kettle. Oh, Interesting. Hey, well, I, I thought you people use this for friend's parts. I actually use the friend's handbags as oh. parachute bags on my drag cups. They work well, do they? No, oh, they look good. I had someone spoke and goes, I thought you you think the pizza was the vomity bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good. Oh, no. <laughs> it would probably work if you covered part of it up so it didn't look quite so round. Oh, as long as it's got carrot in it. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, well, carrot. Like, without being overwhelmingly gross. It, it could Is that possible? No. <laughs> Didn't think so. Oh man. Uh, Good stuff. So this is getting somewhere, this little build, which is good. Oh, well, little build. I mean, massive bloody build. What am I going? Who am I kidding? It's been a big bloody build, this hospital. But it's been a fun one, all the same, learning new techniques. As one always does, as always one does with Lego, particularly after doing um, the diner in the background, which um, that was enjoyable. And the, that that also has got one, what, one and a half base plate extension. So each floor is got a annex to the back of it, which is good. Something different than the uh, regular box standard set that you get, which is cool. Yes. But yeah, this is uh, this is actually working out quite well. I just need another one by one square. Where did I put that? I don't know. Where did you put that, son? Somewhere here on my build table, unless it dropped on the the abyss known as the ground. <laughs> How tight like is your ground floor to the base plates, mate? Can you um able to lift it up a little bit and put it like on a hill or something? Because that would give it another another um, aspect as well. I was thinking that that when I first started the build process. Unfortunately, now that I've got the uh, base plate. The road plate next to it to make the ambulance entrance it won't be possible right but yeah, yeah just if, um, what I, I've done with one of, yeah what i've done I with one of my police stations is i've put it up on a probably about a 10 brick high hill and then yeah. around parking in behind the hill so the hill just forms like a a frontage and it's yeah. all been hollowed out underneath to provide underground car parking which you can see from the rear of the building and then I built uh, like, ramps up into the front doors of it um, rather than putting steps in. Uh, of course, a nod yeah. to having more um, dis disabled access, of course. Um, I try yeah, to put them in all my Lego builds. Um, yeah. One of my friends actually started that is, in a sense. Um, he uh, built a train station, and the one thing he made was a very long, shallow disabled ramp into the, bu into the building rather than um, yeah. having stairs, which is a normal deal and i think that was a great thing um so we've sort of then from since he did that we've really tried to put them in in there as a thing in the building in the builds we do um if we lift them up yeah. off of them. um so yeah but um it's been good to see that lego have put a wheelchair in the you know available that's a molded unit got a couple of them now looking for some more yep but um got no, one of good yeah, my mate James hooked me up with one the other day, so that was appreciated. Good on him. Yeah. Right. So, someone's asked where you are, Tim, in the shed. No, uh, no, I'm in my I, I'm in my Lego room, which is in the front of my uh, house in HK, and I've just had to put. Oh, no, no, you're in the dog house. Uh, okay, fine. You're right. <laughs> I'm in the dog house. Yeah, you spent too much on Lego this month, didn't you, Timmy? I did. <laughs> 
I did. Yes, and now I'm 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 paying for it in uh, being must 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 sleep out here in the uh, doghouse in the Lego room underneath one of the tables. <laughs> I don't think so, Tim. We wouldn't be seeing you, mate. If that was the case, you'd freeze this time of the year. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, 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 we've had we've had snow and everything else, and I, I, tonight's the first night I, I haven't had the hazmat uh, top on and just had a long sleeve shirt. So yeah. we're doing okay tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um. Yeah, hey ten, hey ten, ask that question there. Hey ten, I'm in, the, I'm in the doghouse in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> the doghouse is also the Hong Kong shed. Yeah, I think people just don't get the fact that you've got tarps up to stop the wind coming through. That's all. Yeah, well, um, that, that that's more that's more the factor of what it is. So actually, you know, I, I I I can't I can't actually put um any sort of window uh, like permanent a fixture on the front of the place so we, which is a shame but these tarps do me bloody good <laughs> apparently you're in the dunny out back he's not allowed to use the one inside <laughs> yeah rov is not far from the truth there good on your rov <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm in the throne room <laughs> 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 yeah, also known as the John. Don't know which John, but one of them. <laughs> Gee, you wouldn't want to be locked in the Ringo. That'd be awkward. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Jay. That'd be a messy room. Oh, Nobody dear. would want to go in there. and it'd be. Oh, dear. Oh, Jay. no. We descended. Jay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, you funny bugger, James. <laughs> uh, dear, dear, dear. Yes, it's um. Fun. But yeah, so we've got the cafeteria in, and um, that's all set up, which is good, because I did have a request from someone saying, "But where were the people going to eat?" And I said, "Well, I'll figure it out." So um, I've now got the cafeteria. I've got the second theatre, uh, operating theatre uh, room in, and it's a dual theatre, so I'll have... Now, one... do you know what, you know the James move would be here? Mm. What? James would have the cafeteria right next door to the morgue with a mincer feeding through the wall to feed the oh. sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that sick. You know that morgue with a toilet's you? near there, but anyway. Uh... <laughs> but anyway, you would very much do that. <laughs> no, that would oh, be... Um... Sure would. No, I would have a door next to it called the malpractice suite with a shoot. The malpractice suite? Yes, the malpractice suite with a shoot, pr probably like a trap door or something, and then, yeah, spinning blades. <laughs> and then hot dogs come out, like a little conveyor oh, belt. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Hot dogs come out the other side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Should I rephrase that? I just realised that probably could be interpreted in a different way. <laughs> I'd like to see you try to retract that statement, James. Well, no, I'm afraid for, I can't. Oh. For anyone that's ever watched the movie Smokey and the Bandit, they'd know exactly what hot dogs are made from. Yes. <laughs> Rips and ass rolls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yes. Very funny. But I am putting uh, some trans elements in here, which is good. So I've just made up another lot of these. Yep. I love these parts. I love these, especially when there's so many on the bloody pad wall and you can yep. um, put them as spack filler inside a pick a brick crop. Ah, uh, right. If you've got red ones over there, ooh, you might yes, be my new friend. Any other colours? Hello. What you see here, Darren, <laughs> red, blue and yellow, my good man. Ah, right. Okay. And we've green. had the yellow. We've had the yellow. We've got the blue. We've got I'm green now, too. Yeah, red would be handy. I got red. And I got green somewhere, too. Where did I put it? We got red of the. Um, oh, sorry, green of this. this the, these piece. Uh, is that the pyramid? Oh, no, no. Two no. By, 
Two by one. One by one plate. One by one plate, yeah. Trans green. James probably would have liked a couple of thousand of them for this week, next this next build, wouldn't you, James? I'm sure he Stop would. Teasing. Yeah. Stop <laughs> teasing. <laughs> James wanted to build a brute bottle. He might be putting an order in with me, maybe. I don't think you'll get him in time. Uh, no, I wouldn't get them in time. And usually part of the ordering process requires a few things from my end. Oh. I don't have that at the moment. So, yeah. I'll just... <laughs> Uh, goodwill, thoughts, hopes uh, and prayers. Right. That's pretty much all I have at the moment. I see. <laughs> oh, and, and um, hot dog stories. We've, we've oh, seemed to have got it. really into food on the chat somehow. Oh, did we? Yeah. What are they talking about? Oh, sausages seem to be coming up a lot. What? Damn you, James, and your hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Blame He's Lego. Hot dogs are in every set, so yeah. He's a sausage man, eh? No comment. No. no. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? No. <laughs> Not that oh. type of sausage. <laughs> I, uh, I was talking about the meat m meat pie kind. Meat pie. A meat pie sausage. That that makes even less sense. Um. I, I know what you're trying to say. Uh, I mean, meat potatoes sausage. man. And then, oh my god. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't doesn't help. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, I, I tried to be good today. Um, I know you I did. Just, I, I yeah, buy high ten. Buy, buy hey ten, should I say? Not high ten. Buy hey ten. Hey ten. <laughs> Night, mate. Glad Night. to see you dropped in. Thanks for dropping by, mate. I'm back. Hello. I'm back. I was just checking out the Myers bloody website to see whether or not they had those damn brickheads that we're missing. And then I see the 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 year the lunar year of the dog spend eighty eight dollars get a free so, uh, we've spent that much today. They didn't offer us a bloody dog. Oh, that's yeah, not fair. Bye, 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 bye. Cancel your order and go again. No, because it was like everything was on sale. Oh, okay. That right that might be why you didn't get anything offered then. No, but it should have been because it's a standing. Although I did say while stock lasts, I don't know how long they've had it going though. Yeah, did you have a guy in front of you? Ooh, with Derpy, Derpy's in the house. Evening, Derpy Dragon. Derpy Dragon. Yeah. Who's Derpy? What? Derpy Miss Daisy. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's only online now, no longer in stores, so I've been told. Okay. Well, that really changes my, my store um... is backwards, and I would expect them to still have them. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but that's disappointing. Totally. totally. Not a bit fair, should we? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, anyway, frustrated because Bilzy oh, totally. is saying that the, the missing uh, brickheads that we can't find anywhere are at Dreamworld. And, like, we just ordered, like, this week, earlier this week. Yeah. And yeah. they hadn't, you know, they hadn't arrived, hadn't come in. We can't oh, get them on. Lego.com doesn't have them either. What, don't they? They're out of stock. Oh, that sucks. So, yeah, we've still got to get the um, Master Lou and the Lloyd Brickhead. Mm -hmm. And Phasma and Finn are the last ones that we need of the current collection. Yeah. So that we can complete them. And then husband will let, let me actually build them because he's like, we've got to get them all first and then we'll do build stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's the likely story, isn't it? I've created a monster. You have a build, a build stream monster. Did you have instructions? Hey, did you have instructions to build a monster? Is there a secondary build? <laughs> oh no! Oh shit! <laughs> well. Can, can I download the question? Is there is there B models for the brickheads? 
Who invited him? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I take no responsibility for that. Hang on. Oh. Can you say that every day that I'm it was on? A, it was a good that... joke, James. You were yeah. Oh. You know, we're joking. You've been good value. <laughs> All the time he's <laughs> He's discounted, so he's cheap. Oh, love it. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm um, damaged uh, 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 good. That's um, fantastic. I wish I'd known you need Mr. Uh, Master Wee and Lloyd. I could have bought two of each of them when I made my chef at home order a couple of weeks back. Yeah. Um, well, we have to. His husband is is very, very. Um, what's the word for it? He, he's like a child waiting at the doors of the Lego shop to open. Um, he wants to get all the new Minecraft set, so uh, and won't wait. So we're planning on buying some from Lego Shop at home. Well, plus we've got stupid points. They they get they've got you. Once you spend money with them, you've got points, and they have a value, and you've got to spend money to, you know, get said value back because we don't have stores that you can walk into here. And you have to spend yep. two hundred dollars to get you free shipping in Australia. It's not as yep. cheap as other places, so you know that's a lot of money to draw. Yeah, of course it is. Just to get free shipping, otherwise you're paying thirty dollars. Like if you add thirty dollars onto something that's only worth like you know twenty, you're paying yep. more shipping than the thing is worth. So yeah, painful, it's a bit rich. painful. Yeah, totally. But the thing uh, is, is that, um, yeah, yeah. Even if, even if RB had ordered these things for me, uh, and I'd been organised enough to say, yeah, order them, then I'd still have to pay postage for them to come here. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> True that. But yeah. Um, I might have to have talks with some of my Gold Coast friends if we feel like we can't get the ones that are out of stock on Lego.com. Whoa. They are limited. Yeah, yeah they just are. Don't to pay $70 oh. for reaches purchase, which is $40. I didn't want to hear that. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know, mate. That's Shipping in some countries is crazy. That, that's hard. Yeah. I thought that um, shipping a box... I thought that shipping a box this size for like um seventeen dollars was bad enough. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, cool. Isn't consistent. Although so that box looks like it is a brickhead's box. <laughs> yeah. And if they'd had like all four of the ones like that we were expecting to be in stock, the Star Wars ones, we we would have just bought them as well. But they said no, they're not here. Yeah. Yeah. Not Plus, do not get VIP points. Oh. Greenwell does not do VIP points if you order over the phone. It's nice and all that you can order over the phone, but oh, they need to be keeping a register of all the people that are missing out on points because they don't live local, super, super local. Yeah, well, that's it. But the problem is they put the store there to drag people into Dreamworld as well. Well, I need to know that. Can I just sell it? Yeah, or was yeah, that yeah. Warner Brothers. We won't go there, man. Go oh, okay. You so. don't have to go into Dreamworld to go to the Lego store. You know what? Oh, I no. Mind I just Dreamworld. Like people visit, Dream, visit Dreamworld when they go to the Lego store. I have oh. never visited Dreamworld when I've gone to the Lego store. I know, but you're, you're a hardcore Lego fan. If you went into Dreamworld, that'd be money you couldn't spend on Lego. Yeah, but it's more of a case of the, the Lego store that is there to sell stuff to the tourists. Yeah, that are already going to Dreamworld. Um, last I heard, the Lego they store was actually order, helping man. keep Dreamworld afloat. Yeah. So yes, they've done, done it hard in the last twelve months. Well, they've done like they announced it on the the birthday night that they have the, the apples that the store had done really really great numbers for the year. Yeah, like exceptionally good. Yeah, yeah. Considering that they don't discount anything, that's impressive. So they must be getting a lot of people that are buying from overseas that have got got it on a really good exchange rate because our prices are so much more expensive here. 
Yeah. Although sure. I've noticed the UK prices have gone up. Because I've heard people whinging about that. And I think US prices have crept up a bit too. So maybe everything's going to eventually normalize, but everyone's going to come up to us instead of going down. No, they, they're not dropping our prices. They're putting everyone up to make the Australian tax level. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yes, it's incredible how the prices change around the world depending on the local tax rate sort of thing. What I just see that some of the guys getting in America, for example, price-wise, it's just ludicrous. We got a great tax rate, fifteen percent. That's all. I I think. <laughs> not trying to get off the thing but i think when you've got international items that are going worldwide especially toys um it should be more or less a base tax rate on it all worldwide yeah uh, that's yeah. the dream but, that's uh, the dream. Yeah. Um, but you see we don't have a one world government yet no not yet yes, we no do. i'm working on that what was that james Yes, we do. Visa, American Express, Mastercard. They're the governments. They they control everything, don't they? <laughs> we pay them. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought it was Tim's friends, the CCP. <laughs> oh, very cool. How very right. We do. We control the world. <laughs> ah, glorious dictators. Yes, we love you all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you want to talk about things being controlled, then that would be the banks and the media. Yes. Between those two things, the banks and the media are the major players, and then to the lesser extent, the people that own the money in the banks. Yeah. Yes, this is off topic. <laughs> yeah. I'm just thinking that the item that um, Derpy Dragon paid so much freight on was um, a red 2 by 4 brick CD player. Final oh, product of the collection. Okay, okay. That is totally worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I've never yeah. heard of such a thing, so it must be relatively hard to come by. <laughs> If, if um, right. Bailey could share a photo of that somewhere so I can share it sometime, it would be great. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I know said he got some uh, red, like, red brick luggage. Yeah. Which would yeah. be really cool from, um, I think it was well, Legoland, California. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. That was pretty uh, yeah. really cool. Uh, ah. Yeah. Bailey's rubbing off on me. He's going to turn me into, like, super fan. <laughs> start wanting, like, my luggage to be Lego luggage. I, I don't know. I, I'd be afraid of it, like, falling off the side of the freight car. I'd be afraid of it sticking to all the other bits of luggage. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, very funny, man. Very funny, man. Isn't that supposed to be the point? Exactly, exactly. Um, if if, yeah. if everyone had Lego luggage, it would be so much more practical because everything would like lock in together and they could just have locking pieces on like the, the truck part and your luggage wouldn't be thrown around until at least it gets thrown on the plane. Yeah. Okay. That's See, a good idea. There is logic going on somewhere in my head. I just need to find it occasionally, but yeah, it, it makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> I did just find a picture of that particular boombox. So if you'd like to stick me on screen share for a moment there, Tim. Oh, this baby. Oh, hello. This baby yeah. feels familiar. Hello. Cool. Yeah, that that's pretty cool. damn cool. What year was that from? I'm not sure. I just well, just found a photo of it on, it, on it's Amazon. It's supposed to be the fountain of all knowledge. No, I'm not. Amazon not tell you what you came But I'll out. tell you right now, this thing does my head in because yes. the Lego logos are in all different damn directions. Oh, <laughs> oh it is too. OCD. 
Two, one of them but is may, maybe control. some of them are volume control. One of them's a volume control. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the, the one on the left at the front and the one on the right at the front, obviously. Yeah, they're in different directions because of the volume they're and obviously the balance, I'd say. And nobody tuning. knobs. Yeah, all right. Maybe not quite so bad. Okay. I just think the volume would always just have to be at half for me. So they must have first come out in like the mid to late 2000s. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I vaguely recall seeing something like this somewhere. So maybe it's something that they continued for a little while. Yeah. Maybe. So take me off the screen share, please. Yeah, buddy. Yep. Wow. That's cool. I reckon that's really cool. Yeah. Very that kitsch. Very but, cool. Yeah. Who would have thunk he could have got me okay. that? So Spong was saying 2012. That that would be why I recognise it because 2012 is when I first started actually properly paying attention to what Lego made, and I actually went on like the Lego.com site instead of just shopping at Target. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Target. Target. <laughs> Downtown Target. I love, I, love, I love shopping at Target. Target, moccasins for men. Well, especially especially when we lived in Brisbane. Um, it's probably been in almost a decade since we moved away from there. Um, but the, you go into the city and the city Target would have so many things marked down. It was crazy. It was like yeah. people just shop there. Oh, Sorry, okay. um, oh. Sorry, there's an um. Uh hum. Uh hum. Kumbaya. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, if anybody was um wondering, uh, I, I probably didn't mute the microphone. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit of huffing and puffing on my end. It, it's it's got nothing to do with anything people are saying. It's just I'm trying to move, um, uh, one by one tiles. With a with a a brick separator thing, um, without um, flinging them across the room. Yes, and um, trying to do it without saying things, and so um, I'm, I'm trying to be oh, as you're trying to internalize the swear words. Yes, and so I was like, <laughs> <laughs> um, he's trying to minimize the. Uh, <laughs> that's okay, Timmy. It's not like you have anything to be, be demonetized. No, that's right. So you can mm -hmm. F to your nose. Oh, no, but I don't. Oh, yes, yes. This is Timmy's stream. Well, actually, oh. uh, once, once the 20th rolls around, all bets are off, YouTube. We'll have swear words. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I just don't want to pay you for anything. <laughs> Yeah, they're taking away all the ads off me because I don't have enough subscribers despite the fact that I have double the amount of hours required. <laughs> Yay, I have awesome content. But because people don't subscribe enough, please subscribe. Um, I'm getting all my ads taken off me. But, oh, you shouldn't be doing this for the money, Sheree. No, no. If you're doing this for the money, then then you're, you're, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Uh, no, I'm not just doing it for the money. I actually, like, this is my hobby. I love this. Ooh, rant, rant, I'm ranting. Um, but yeah, that, extra free, little, free. That, that extra little bit of money, like, can be spent on things that I can then share with the people who watch me. But yay, you too. I love being just penalized. Say it. it can be spent on Lego. I was like, oh, yeah, exactly. And it's like, it's almost a year to the day since the last time I got my ads taken off me because I wasn't at the 10,000 view mark yet. Yeah. yeah. Now I do more than that in a month. Each yeah, it doesn't, that, that doesn't make sense. It's, oh, uh, yeah. Look, I understand it. The ad pop stuff happened and there's not as many ads to go around, but uh, I think it should, shouldn't go off subscribers. Like, why are subscribers important? People watch my stuff anyway. Yeah, well, that's oh, it. It changed. It's 
you know, marketing techniques and all that, they'll juggle it around and make it different. Uh, I think the frustration is they just keep moving the goalposts for the little guys. Yeah. yeah. Like 650 odd subscribers, I need a thousand. It's not going to happen. Not for a while yet. I guess I'm and gonna it's... crank up the crazy and let people know. All right. Let's <laughs> just crank it up, bit. You need a webcam, right. James, because um, <laughs> yes, James. I'm sorry. I, I I'm such a disgrace. But um, such a disgrace. Oh, we need to see your face. Yes. I need to get money so that I can spend it on it. But don't worry. Um, it is definitely on the cards. So all you oh, people dude, out there in YouTube if land, I had a spare and... webcam, I'd be sending you one right now. <laughs> well, well you actually, we be doing a GoFundMe for James's webcam, $2,000? Yes. $2, oh, yes, well, give you a pitch. This is a different channel, James. Give you pitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for those who haven't heard, I am ca canvassing a fantastic opportunity for anybody who likes Lego or just, just wondering what the hell I'm going to be saying next. Who knows? I don't know. Right, so uh, I've got an idea. If you want to see my face, which, mm, uh, yeah, I, I was thinking about it for, because at the moment I, I don't currently have a proper headset and I don't properly have a proper camera or anything like that. So I was going to have like a GoFundMe project, put that in, and then. I figured, well, what I should do is ask for two grand. Because what would make an AFOL happy? A Millennium Falcon UCS. So I figured that's what I need to do. So <laughs> I reckon that'll scan. I reckon everyone's going to jump in and just like go for it. Because okay, so no, make me happy, I'll be happy, and I'll experiment. Circle of life. $2,000. Yes. You will get Yes. So I reckon two grand international people, um, they earn a lot more than I do currently, which is pretty easy to do. So, yeah, I reckon this time next week. <laughs> we'll see a live build of a UCS Millennium Falcon. Yeah, okay, done. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <right. clears throat> no, <laughs> I threw it out there. I spitballed it back. Um, I got a spitball in return, but you know, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> For anybody who missed it on the TGI Friday stream, go back and check it on Aussie Brick Chicks channel. Oh, no. Yes. He's, he's, it's in he's, stereo? It's so much funnier. <laughs> oh, okay. I must be getting crusty in my old age. No, you're, you're, you're getting right. Don't worry. It's, you're getting right. <laughs> okay. You're ripening at the right time, my friend, James. Yes. Your vintage has just come to its, it come into its own. <laughs> oh, look, um, what I have been doing um, during this chat, um, I uh, currently, <clears throat> I also do um, sell minifigs and stuff on the side. Um, no, I offer, I offer... I offer people um, a, a great opportunity to um, to avail themselves of some Lego stock. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. Um, and yes, sorry, yes. I, I'd like to start again. And um... <laughs> anyway, um, what I was saying is that um, has anybody noticed that um, you know the abundance of you know, animals and stuff like that that they have in the friend sets? You notice that that's kind of been creeping across to all of the other types of sets. So you've got your superheroes, you've got like dog, what's what's his dog called? Dynamo? Dynamo. Pedal faster, pedal faster. You've you've got the, um, the city sets. So mainly like your mining sets and then the police set you've got the the beehive. Um, you've got the the puma, you've got the lion, you've got the bear and stuff like that. Um, has anyone noticed that you know, my, uh, my, uh, Lego is, is kind of continuing along that whole, that whole uh, catch it all whole with the animals? So what you're saying is they're spreading out all the animal mold between a bajillion different sets, so you have to buy not just one thing, cross things. 
That's right. Yeah, so for example, um, I'm not really a huge collector of city sets. However, I, I really, really love the beehive. I really, really like the bear. I want the black bear. I want the puma. I want the... Um... Do they have any other cats right? called Aaron? Yeah, so like last... <laughs> Well, um, last wave they had, you know, the jungle sets. I think that they're, mm. they're still around now. So yeah, there were like three different types of cat. Um, and of course, the tiger came in what a hundred and fifty dollars set. So you have to often get that set if you want that. Do you think that that would be something that they would be continue to go with? Because um, it's a great way to drive sales. I think they will do whatever their market research tells them to do. Those Absolutely. wacky Germans. They're going yeah. to talk to us. Hey, I <laughs> cannot diss the German kids very much anymore because they are letting us have a hospital according to Brickset. Yeah, true. So if this is true and not a rumor, then German kids, I apologize. You yes. have seen your <laughs> and yeah. I'm impressed with your choices. Yes, thank you, German kids. I sprechen Sie ab and I'm an Achtung, Rechner, Achtung, Sprechen, the Abnoing Achtung, that button, Achtung, and Pushkin. Um, is that German as per Sprechen, the Deutsch, or is that German as in Austria? As in Austria, German. Ah, right, verboten, verboten, Volkswagen, yeah. <laughs> so, so my question is, Timmy, what did you just say? <laughs> I said thank you to all those no, little no, German no. and we will be coming a lickety split with uh, our, our Frasian persons back to you. Our presence coming clearly to the little kitties who said yes. I'm laughing so hard at what you just said there. <laughs> um, I, I can't show it. <laughs> my brain, my oh, brain is in a completely Spong different direction. Spong, I reckon you're talking Hogan's hero type German, mate. Yes. Forbidden, forbidden, schnell, schnell. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Ah, it's all shizen. Yes. <laughs> oh, dear me. Better I'm watch invited him. <laughs> He's just hey, a hog. Wait, it's my stream. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Careful, son. <laughs> Careful, son. He has the eject button. I do have the powerful eject button. And so does the CCP people. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of CCP, maybe maybe we should wrap this up before they uh, disconnect you. Oh, that would be a good <laughs> idea. I would like to thank everybody for coming along to this evening to this uh, wonderful Lego lunatics that we have uh, before us, including myself <laughs> in that, that title. I'd like to thank R. Rabbi, who was here earlier. I'd like to thank James, a.k.a. Beaker. I'd like to thank Aaron, a.k.a. Gandalf. I'd also like to thank ABC. And if you like what you see, like, subscribe to my good friend ABC and her lovely Friday. Aussie Friday. Brick Chick. Aussie Brick Chick. And like, subscribe to me, Timmy T. And we'll let's do Lego again. Same time, same Lego channel, same Lego space. Back again next week for the Sunday Super Lego stream. And we'll catch you all on the flip side. Keep building. Break it up, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye, -bye.